Hi everybody, it's Diana with StampingWithDye.com. Welcome to this week's Dye's Shorts. And I have a cute card to share with you today. And I will um, tell you how it came about. I also have, yesterday I announced, um, and this is kind of the first time I've, out, I, I've done it this way, my um, October and November class in the mail kits. I've already announced them because they are going to be a while supplies last and even though I still have um, my September you know the, the current class in the mail kit I still have registration going on for that I um, tomorrow is the 10th I believe yes what is today the 9th yes so you have till tomorrow the 10th to sign up for the um, the September one and, I, and I'll um, refresh your memory with that, memory with that. but um my October and November. The October is going to be the hippo, the hippest, hippest hippo bundle. So the hippo was a stamp set and a die you could get during celebration. So as I placed um, orders and stuff like that, I, you know, I would I would pick those two things because I knew I'd want to do it as a class um, down the road. So October is going to be that month. <clears throat> so. Uh, um, I have that going on and then also the new perfect partners dies that are going on for the month of September I want to do the bir this birthday piggy I always don't have that name right but this birthday piggy bundle will be for November so the October um, the hippo one you can't change it because I can't figure out how to do that because I have just a certain amount of bundles. Um, I have a special gift coming with it. So I, you're not able to um, substitute that because it just wouldn't work, right? Because I already have have the bundles and I only have so many. So that's why I said while supplies last. <clears throat> the piggy is a little bit different because it is like current right now. That die is current right now. But you need to sign up right away because that die might not last till the end of September. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get them ordered and then once there's no more dies, then it's done. So with that class, and I'll explain it when I turn it, you can get the bundle or you can just get the die because maybe you already have the piggy stamp set. So that's a little bit different because it is, you know, you can order that. That's why the hippo is different because you can't order those anymore. So, all right. So I'm going to... Um, <clears throat> turn I have a frog in my throat so this card is kind of perfect today if I have a frog in my throat so I am going to turn the camera first my name is Diana I know I have been blah 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 for about how, how long my name is Diana and I'm an independent stamped up demonstrator and I'm in Santan Valley Arizona so I want to um, welcome you if you are new and welcome back if you've been here before so um, I go um, I not necessarily live today I'm watching live so if you have any questions I'm off to the side you can just um, ask me and I'll type them in the chats um, sometimes I go live um, we live out in the boonies and our um, internet connections are not always good so um, lately I've just been pre taping them so that I know that I don't have any issues um, during the live and then I just watch with you so it's kind of live um, but um, so Monday Tuesday and Friday is when you will see my videos and then Saturday I usually just put like a really quick one on just to um, brighten up your weekend and that's usually just kind of a recap quick quick video all right so really for now I really really truly I am going to um, spin the uh, camera and we will get started so hopefully that was fast enough I'm trying to do it a little quicker so you don't get seasick all right, so here's the few things that I was talking about. So the host code for September, this is the host code that you want to use if you're not in one of my stamp clubs and if you're ordering in my store, please use that code if you're ordering less than 150 before tax and shipping. If you are ordering more, then don't use my code so that you will get your own hostess benefits. Okay, so this is the Snowman Magic Bundle. So this is the actual, this is the class that's for September. And I showed that in a video the other day. I showed you the pieces and everything that you're going to be getting. And this is till tomorrow because I only have so many. And it's 75 and it includes um, the stamp set and the die and in the five make and take 
pieces that you see here and um so anyway so there's a video that um, explains all of that and I can link to that video um let me I'll talk about this one after I have my little pieces of paper I printed out all right so this is the hippo the hippo's hippo bundle so this is what I was talking about so it's 60 because you get both and then there's going to be five projects with a special gift and then the priority postage the PDF and all that good stuff like I always do for my class and the mail kits so registration has started supplies are limited so I only have so many of them I've already got um, people signing up for this so just make sure that if you want to do this class you sign up very very soon and um, so yeah and then these will this will go out um, the end of October that's when that kit will go out and I can only do USA only and then the um, the November will be this birthday piggy bundle and so I have two ways to get that so it's 80 if you need the whole bundle and then it includes the five projects and all that um, stuff I always do but you might already have the stamp set so I want to make it available if you just need the die so if you just need the die it's 62 and includes all the you know all the stuff and then you'll just have to use your own set because you might already have the set all right and that so that's November again registration is already open you need to um, sign up right away just because um, I don't think the, the die will last till the end of September and then it will be done like class sign up will be done um, and then these this class will go out the end of November and this is that perfect partners that I was talking about so this is where that piggy die comes from and there's just so much you know going on in regards to that there's also a new Christmas um, gifting kit so this started September the 7th and it does tags and gift card holders so I don't have that yet um, but I just want to make you make you aware of it especially when it's a Christmas item sometimes those things um, go on back order quicker because you know it's the season that people are making their Christmas cards so let me put that off to the side also Stampin Up has told us that Saturday the 10th they're going to be doing some maintenance on the online stores so if you are trying to place an order and having issues um, that could be why so just hang on um, you can always send me your order and I can put it in like later and keep trying I was trying to put an order in yesterday and had issues and I was able to um, put it in this morning without any problems but um, they just told us that you know Saturday they will be um, doing some maintenance okay so anyway so let's get to today's card I'm going to be using the best witches and I'm also going to be using the witch hat builder punch so forever I have had these pieces sitting on my desk so this is what happens I will um, be working on a class or I'll be working on whatever whatever a, a card for for a live and I'll do something I'll go oh my gosh I want to do that as a card and then the pieces sit till I figure out well, what am I gonna do so these pieces have just kind of sat on my desk for a while I'm like okay I do want to do something with that I remember I colored the witch one day and I made her green so I'm like okay I want to do something with a little green witch so lucky for you today is the day I also did a really cute card was it last week I think I did really cute card so I had some of these card stocks already cut um, and ready to go so I'm like okay I'm just going to use from that so basically that's what I'm using so best switches so I'll put that off to the side I do need the punch so this is my pieces now I did switch out the card stock so it's still the parakeet but instead of using the black and white DSP which you can see here this stripes I wanted green you know stripes to go with this so I just picked from the T boutique memories and more cards so that's where this came from and what I was doing one day is I just needed some mango um, stars so that's where this started I had a I had a circle I'm like okay I'm just gonna punch out some stars I need some stars 
And then when I pulled it away, I'm like, well, that kind of looks like a face. So that's when it sat on my desk <laughs> while I figure out, you know, what I was going to do with it. So today's the day, like I said. All right, so what we're going to do, we're going to take our um, Tea Boutique. And I just trimmed the the um, Memories and More card because it's actually... Um, I think I used my last green one, but it's actually a card. I just trimmed it down and only took the um, striped part of the front. And we're just going to punch in the corner this little guy here. So now you kind of have this little jack-o'-lantern face in the corner of the card. And then you can decide what kind of color cardstock you want to put behind. Now I just chose black because you know it just looked better but you could choose whatever you want and then I'm going to adhere it to the card now I'm gonna use my green tip glue so that I have a little bit more wiggle room with it then if I use my seal so I'm just putting my green tip glue and this is just our Tombow multi glue and I have just put it in one of these little containers I got off of Amazon and then this is just going to get stuck on here. So I'm just lining up my edges like that. So by using the green tip, I'm able to adjust it a little bit better than if I used the seal. And as soon as it's stuck, it would be stuck. All right, so there's our card. And then I'm going to put it on this Highland Heather cardstock back here and to me those colors scream Halloween all right now I'm not gonna put it on yet but this is gonna go on there all right so we also want the inside and I just trimmed down that card again to get me my stripes and this is just gonna go on the inside like that just so the inside you know me, I'm always doing that. That's not a new thing if you have watched any of my videos. I always seem to put something on the inside of the card to go along with the outside. All right, just so we have our pieces. Now I also have used the deckled rectangles and that's why I'm going to stamp my cute little witch on as well as I picked the smaller ones. You got, I've got like um, blends on my fingernail and this is the smaller one so they match so I'm gonna use the the memento Oop, look at that little bug flying around all right it wants to see what I'm doing today I guess okay so I am going to stamp my cute little witch and I'm gonna put her off to the side because I'm going to end up trimming this down a little bit ink 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 I need to re-ink my pad all right so we've got her down here let her dry real good all right then I also want to put you put a spell on me on here so let me make sure how straight I have mounted my greeting so if you have watched a video before, this is kind of how I figure out if I've put my sticker on straight or my um, stamp, because you can't see through to the pink rubber or the red rubber. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to look through using my grid sheet. I'm looking at my sticker and I'm just gonna stamp using my lines and then I'm gonna go okay that's not too bad so then I know I'm good because this one also helps is it's not perfectly straight so I'm gonna stamp this off to the side as well all right you've put a spell on me while I have the ink pad open I want to put our little frog on the inside See how straight he is he's got a little bit of a hitch in his step so I know I need to just tweak him just a little bit to straighten him out and since she's putting a spell on the frog I'm gonna use these little stars around the frog 
So it, to me, it looks like there's a spell being cast. So she's either turned somebody into a frog. Maybe, you know, that boyfriend didn't call her when he said he was going to. Or maybe she needs a boyfriend and she's going to make a boyfriend out of the frog. Who knows what her backstory is? It can be anything you like. All right, so let's see. Let's start coloring our little frog a little bit. So I'm just going to do the light, fresh freesia. And to me, I want it to look, um, you know, it's kind of like nighttime. So the light, fresh freesia is just going to be like a shadow so that it just looks like, you know, the moon's coming up or whatever. All right, then we want Dark Highland. So we'll put a little eye shadow on our little froggy. And if you read my blog, did you notice that we had a toad in the house? Oh my gosh, that was like, that was almost embarrassing. I'm like, do I mention, do I tell people we had a toad in the house? Is that gross? Oh, I mean, the toads are gross, but it was just too hilarious. So I, I totally shared it on my blog. But we've just had such a monsoon season this year that it probably was just sitting outside the door and Jeff opened the door in the night to check, you know, the weather and it popped right in and we, he didn't see it. All right, because it wasn't a big one. It was just a small one. All right, so now I'm going to go dark parakeet party and we'll finish coloring in our toad or our frog, whatever. There's probably a difference between toads and frogs. The ones in Arizona, I think somebody called them Colorado bullfrogs or something, but you have to be very careful if you have dogs and maybe like cats too, but um, make sure I pick the light one. Yes, light parakeet to finish our frog. But if your dog licks them or eats them, um, what they do is they put out like this toxin and it, it can kill your dog if you have a small dog. All right, so there's our cute little toad or our frog, whatever. He is adorable. He's adorable when he's not hopping around your living room. All right, so now we're gonna color our cute little witch. And I'm gonna pick um, similar colors that the frog is just because we have that color cardstock and I just want everything to look you know, all good and um, coordinated. All right, so let's see, what do I wanna do first? Let's do the same thing with the light, fresh freesia on the outside of the witch. So I wanna give it the same kind of look as I did with the frog. So this is kind of like nighttime, even though she stamped on white, I still want it to kind of give you the idea that it's like dusk or there's um you know there's like light coming the f from the fire and it's kind of purple so we're just putting this freesia kind of like shadow all around the witch and then we can start to color her all right so let's do her little hat and if you've been if you've watched my videos before I have colored these cute little witches a few times. So this is light Cajun craze because I want that look of gold and that look of fire. And then this is dark daffodil. And by looping these two together, it gives you that look of gold. So I'm having the fire be kind of gold looking as well. Then I want her face and her body to be kind of like that, um, is it an Alba from Wicked? So I wanted to finally do a cute little green witch. And that's also why I like the cardstock, the parakeet, so that it matches my cute little witch. So this is the dark parakeet. So she also matches her cute little frog. So this is just the dark. Now I didn't put any flirty flamingo cheeks like I usually do. I've just kept her face just with the green. 
and then her cute little legs and then this is just a light parakeet to finish and I'm just going around in a circle and then as I get to the center I kind of touch the paper lighter and lighter and lighter to try to get that um, lighter look as it gets to the center of her face then let's do her hair so I'm just gonna make her uh, be a brunette so I have picked number 600 and this is one of the tones and I can't tell you how many people ask me where to find these in the catalog and I think I just colored her ear brown but that's okay so this is number 600 and I will show you in a second and then this is number 400 just to add a little bit of dark and I also want to do the um, logs under the fire. So I'm just having them be the same color. Instead of having 100 blends out, I'm just kind of sticking with, you know, very similar colors. All right, and I'll just go back and add a little bit more under the hat. So it's a little bit darker there. All right, so let me show you because they are not where the other blends are. They are here. So if you can't find the tones, they are on page 128 of the catalog. They are not with, when you look at the colors, where's my, here we go. When we look at the colors, these are, you know, the 48 color collections or whatever. And if, if you wanna find the blends, they're down here. But the tones, all they go with everything, they're not, they, they're not really part of the color collections per se. So they they're over in the wow factor. So that's where you're going to find the tone blends. And then what I did was because you know how like I will, uh, I'll say I'm using number 600, you know, but in the catalog, it just has an item number. It doesn't say 600. So what I've done is I've just wrote the numbers beside. So, but if you like look, like this is probably more information than you care to know. But like see right here, 159462 is the item code for the medium. And it has five and six in that one. So I just kind of, you know, do this so that when I do my PDF, for my classes and I've got the you know number five out I can just it just made it a little easier so hopefully that helps you um, find those because I do love that you have all the different colors and you can have um, for skin tones for animals you know nature whatever they're a great addition to the blend family all right so let's see I want my light basic black and we are going to do her little hat. So I'm putting some light basic black. Now I don't use basic black very often because it is super dark, but it's perfect for the little witch hat because I do want the witch hat to be dark. But you do want to kind of like be blending it quickly. So that you can blend those colors out and then this is dark smoky so I'm just coming up in here and that will just kind of knock down some of those heavy looks of the black and then my light smoky to finish but since she's kind of like a cartoony kind of person I don't care so much if you can see the lines because then it also looks more like um, you know the light is reflecting from the fire and hitting the hat you know here and there so let's just take some more of the black and I'm just gonna come in with just some lines and that will just add a little bit of texture to the hat all right now I also want her cauldron to ha have some black so I'm doing the same thing but again I'm just doing one piece at a time so that it can I can um, 
blend it out. And again, this is dark, smoky, because if it sits too long, it really soaks into the paper, and then it's a little harder to blend it out. And then we're going to do our light, smoky to finish the cauldron. Now, I had a hard time deciding what color dress that I wanted to do for her. And then I decided that I was just going to do the same as her hat because she's a fashionista. So her dress is black. So I'm just barely putting that just around the edges here because then I'll come back in with the smoky. So she is so cute. So if you don't have these, this cute little set, make sure you grab that so you have time so that you can make some really cute, even if you um, don't do Halloween necessarily, like give out trick or treating, maybe, you know, if you work in an office, you could make little goodies or something for your office people. So I just think they're adorable. All right, we don't usually get many trick-or-treaters out here because like I said, we're out in the boonies. So, and a lot of times the kids that do live out here, they go to town, right? Because there's such a dis distance between everybody's house, they can get more candy if they go to town. All right, so there is that. And then for her um, cape, and her hat band and this little bit of dress I wanted to have it be a little bit um, different color then I'm going to use the um, dark Highland tether and the which one is this the dark freesia I like those together All right so this is the dark Highland and that's also why I chose the dark Highland cardstock so everything looks together and coordinates really cute so this is dark highland then I'll take a little bit of dark freesia and these are such cute colors together where they have a definite change when they come together and I like I like that look, you know, when it's a Halloween kind of thing. And then we'll take our light fresh freesia and finish it. So is it she adorable? Oh my gosh. So I was had a cartoon on the other day and I was just watching them. So if you ever want to um, kind of learn how to use the blends too. watch a cartoon because they have definite dark and light like it just goes boom there's a dark um band you know before it goes to the next color to do um light and dark so so don't worry about you know you can't blend it out because see look at i have definite dark lines and light lines and it still is super cute i think all right so let's put our card together bring our pieces over and now I can't remember what people were telling me that this, I think people were saying it's a, it's a gate fold or a double door. I don't remember. My mind is, I don't have a good memory. But anyways, it's a super cute, super cute fold. All right, so let's put our frog on the inside. And I did, so I always do one card ahead of time. So I did one ahead of time that I've been looking at and I use a different DSP so you'll have to let me know which one you like the best all right so let's bring our spell over as well as this so I want to also put little dots this is what's coming out of the cauldron and then I want to take my light freesia and I want to make it look like, you know, stuff is really coming out. So I just simply make these lines and then it just looks like, you know, stuff's coming out. So I also want to do it here because she's putting a spell. So I'm doing the same thing. I'm just kind of going around so it looks like 
you know, there's a spell being cast. All right, so let's bring this over and this over. Before I glue it on there, I almost forgot. I want to put her on here first, and I'm going to put her on with dimensionals because I'm going to trim it. Remember I said I was going to trim her down. So I'm putting these on. I also want to put a few on my spell. All right. So this is going to go on the card because I want to leave so that you still see this cute little pumpkin face. All right. So we're going to put her about here like that and then let me put this on and then we'll trim her so then I'm just gonna take this and I'm just gonna stick it oh you know why because I put dimensionals there hang on a second hang on a minute let me pick her up so I can stick this under there all right, there we go. So you put a spell on me like that. And then I will peel. I will peel this out of here. Live or Memorex. All right, there we go. So you put a spell on me, super cute. And then I'll trim this down just by using the side up here just to trim that so now you have this cute little witch in there all right now we can put it on here because i wanted to keep her within the frame of the green striped paper and have this be its own frame all right so put this on here i'm almost oh no i still have seal all right so put this out here So adorable. And then this is that gatefold. So remember, we need to only put the card on this side. Or, you know, if you could even go this way too, right? I just always do like this because then it looks, it's like a book. All right. So then we're just going to put our adhesive on here. And that way, when you put this on, it's like a card, but it opens up with that gate. I guess people are saying it's a gate folds, which totally makes sense, right? I was calling it a bureau or something. I don't know what I called it. But so isn't she so cute? Now, I didn't put any gel pen or any of that stuff. I didn't even put any um, bling on her, which I totally could, but she's adorable as she is. So let me show you the card that I was looking at. So I couldn't decide which paper I like. So I thought, you know what? I'm going to um, demonstrate one using this paper and then show you the finished one to see, you know, this is another use for the boughs of holly. This is that Christmas paper that I have used. This is the Christmas paper from here. This is actually one of the um, card guts that you can earn this month. But this is where that paper comes from. And it just, to me, it looked kind of like spooky, like, um, you know, like bubbling kind of green stuff. So just, you know, think outside of the box when you're using some of your DSP. So which one do you like best? I think they're both adorable. But, um, so make sure you let me know which one you like best. And, all right, let me try to spin without making you sick. All right. So I can say, see you later, alligator. All right. So, um, have a great weekend. And, um, so let me know what you think. And so I hope you do things differently with your punches. When you punch something out, make sure you always look at the garbage because basically that's what that was that um, mango piece that was just going to go in the garbage i just needed the little stars out of it and then i was like look it it looks like a pumpkin face so anyway so always um just look at that stuff you never know all right so i'm gonna say see you later have a great week and and i will see you um monday for my mimeograph monday with a twist at three o'clock arizona time 
same time, same place, and thank you so much for spending time with me this week. I really appreciate it, and I enjoy our time together and our relationships, our little um, community that we're growing on the side with the chats. I love that so much. So um, have a great weekend, and I will see you Monday. All right, bye for now.